So let's talk about good crisis management. Crisis management is usually defined as being strategic activities designed to anticipate, prepare for, mitigate the effects of, respond to and recover from a major disruption. There are some well-established factors when it comes to activating crisis management arrangements. And the first of these is timely sharing of information and notification of the disruption. The next one is a proactive uh, elevation of the situation to key decision makers in the organisation. And finally, it's then activating the right response arrangements. So once you've got the right team activated, it's got a number of key tasks. And the first of these is to gather information about the disruption. Secondly, to take that information and analyse it to work out what the impacts are on the organisation. And then thirdly, determine the right actions. So those actions clearly have got to be implemented and tracked to a successful or otherwise outcome. And that allows you to go back to this decision action cycle until you fix the problem. So what I've described so far has been around managing the response to the disruption. But the crisis team also has to look after the process of managing that response as well, which includes the welfare of the team around them who may be experiencing their own stresses and emotions. It's about having the right plans and procedures available, the right subject matter experts and the right facilities, all of which will help to oil the wheels of the response and make it much smoother. So in summary, crisis management is really about three things. Getting information, understanding what it means for the organisation and taking action.